Neighbors and visitors on Sanibel Island are getting a first glance at progress. Every single day you drive around this island, you're seeing signs of recovery from, from new businesses that are opening to, to big events like, like this monumental uh, restoration of this lighthouse. Since the lighthouse got its legs back last month, it continues to be restored to stronger heights. Um, so that's what you see happening right now is there's scaffolding that is going up um, so the workers can, can get up there and sandblast it first, assess the damage um, to, up close to see what's going on. Once that's all done with the sandblasting, then they're going to put an exterior coating uh, on the lighthouse. The renovation being added to the lighthouse is part of the Sanibel's beach nourishment project after the island took a heavy hit from Hurricane Ian. It's a big project and it, and it needs to be done right. Um, so that's why people have been asking, well, how long is this going to take? Is it, you know, you've been working at this a while. It, it takes time to do this and to do it safely and to do it in the right way. Despite the time and hassle, it isn't stopping these people from enjoying the sun, seashells, and everything else the island has to offer. Even throughout uh, the process of, of restoring the beach and, and restoring this lighthouse, uh, people are out enjoying it and, and they're getting to see this happen. I mean, this is really a, an historical thing that's taking place. Um, the lighthouse has, has truly become a, a symbol of Sanibel's resilience. On Sanibel Island, I'm Ashley French, Wink News. Wow, and once the scaffolding is up, crews plan to add a fence around the lighthouse. Officials say the project to sandblast and paint should take about two months to complete.